how to block email spam. Dum dum. Now that's the question we all want, isn't it? Because, well, it's just like the old Monty Python song. Spam, 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 spam. Everybody loves spam. No, we hate spam when it comes to email and we get so much of it. Today I thought I would show you something very quick. Just how you can use your cPanel, assuming of course you have access to it. And in the account level filtering of the email section, you can create different filters just here for various, you know, spam filters. Now these are the ones that have made it past whatever my host is already doing. These are the ones that have made it through whatever my uh, service provider might be doing or you know when it comes to my desktop I use a pop 3 and whatever levels I have there sometimes the mongrels just still keep getting through so let's have a look at the way that I've set some of these things up and just presents prevents them from happening I create different rules based on what's happening so if I get anything with a subject where that subject line contains the word pharmacy it's going to delete it because that's what I've told it to do. Here's the rule down the bottom, discard message. Well, the same thing applies to if the subject contains Viagra or the subject contains hackers or anywhere in the body, whatever the heck that is, Kadala, or if the subject contains a, a UPS delivery port, blah, 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 any of these different things, the subject contains, you've been contacted, dum, 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 transaction is completed, dum, 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 discard message. Now if I were to add one more in there it's a matter of just simply adding this and then choosing the parameters. It could be from an individual or it could be a particular subject or two or reply address or any of these different things and then you can apply here it either equals or you know matches that or contains or does not contain or various different things. There's a whole lot of different ways that you can configure that and then you can just choose to discard it, redirect it, you know, file with message. I don't recommend that one because it's going to send something back and that could put a, you know, a, a big impact on some of yours. Um, delivered there, piped to a program. Look, just discard that puppy, all right? That, that's all you really need to do. That's the, the simplest way. I've also got a couple of things, actually this is a, another keyword one, just based on casino spam. I keep getting these crappy things sent to me no matter how hard I try. And then I have a couple of blocked email addresses as well because they just keep changing the keywords and still sending me crap. So anything from where the email address ends with mygbiz.com, sorry whoever you are using that but you're not going to get through to me anymore because someone's been spamming the crap out of me and I'm sick and tired of it. And anyone from whoever the hell owns this email address, well this wanker just you know sent me like a thousand emails overnight one day and then I got that blocked and then another thousand and then another thousand, ah screw this puppy just bang discard message, I mean come on. I've had enough of that, so whoever you are, you're not getting through to me either. But there are so many different ways that you can do this. I suggest that you get in and have a look at your account level filtering in your cPanel access. And if you're getting spam, which is making it through the gates, you can also just block and delete them here before they even get to you. So easy to do. Talk to you again soon. This is Paul Bars from paulbars.com signing off.